Good morning, y'all. How we doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Brooks, 16 months of subbing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. How we doing this morning? We have um we have some sun. We have some uh sun lighting going on today, but that's okay. It's not into the stream too much, but if you see that flashing on my shirt, we got the sun blazing in. So we need some sunshine in our lives today, don't we, chat? We always do. Whoa, we almost dropped all of the pins on the floor. That would have sucked. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I love your face too, Tessa, your virtual face at least. That's all I can see here. <laughs> How are we doing this morning, everyone? Do we have a, a decent long weekend here in the U.S.? Did anyone get some time to chill? What's up, Jerrica? What's up, Slumberland Studio? Everyone have some time to chill. Mark Rasback. With the nine months of subbing with the alerts off, so you get the extra. Let's go. Let's go. Cheers. Let's go. Cheers. So, yeah, we're doing that. We are doing that this morning, chat. We are, uh, whoa. Why is this broken? Get composted 21 months of subbing. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I drove five hours to go rock hounding on Lake Superior. It was bliss. That sounds like bliss. My dogs were sick. No. No, we don't need six sick puppers. Well, if you missed last stream, I guess Toby got sick on stream last weekend, right? Last week, right? Was that Thursday where Toby, Toby came in here and uh, horked one up? <laughs> got my Hobonichi chip, shipment notification, so that's a win. That's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, last Thursday, we were getting late in the stream. Toby strolls up here. I'm like, hey, buddy, what's up? Hork. <laughs> rip, rip, rip. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Michael Chuckle Stuff. Everyone else, good morning. My wife is in Texas. Her mom's now in hospice. Terrible situation with Texas and being there. Man, that is a terrible situation, Summerlin Studio. I hope it. I hope there's some resolution there. I hope it gets better. Uh, that's a nightmare. That is for sure. Jackie, 23 months of subbing. Let's go. Let's go. What's going on, Jackie? What's good? Mm, mm, mm. All right, chat. I don't know what we're doing today. I mean, I know what we're doing today, but we can we can chill for a little bit. We can chat. We can chat. What's up, Miss G's Crafties? Um, because I'm gonna have I'm gonna have questions questions for y'all later. Uh, was new pin day for you Friday? I missed too many streams because of work in the last week. Had a surprise visit for my parents on Sunday. How does that go with surprise visits, Tony? Um, I I'm I'm a big fan of hey I need some notification before arrival. Uh, pandemic Bruce, what new what was your new pin? Did you see the new Black Ultim? Yes, they look pretty cool. Well, they live in Arizona, and they just showed up. I have another random question if I can ask. I would like to buy the Hairlitz Converter and the Dimine Apple Glory and Dimine Oxblood ink for my Diplomat Magnum. Do you think they would work well together? Um, I don't know what I don't know what color Apple Glory is. Oxblood's great. Uh, what color is Apple Glory? Is it green or red? What color is Apple Glory? Luke Jury, 21 months of subbing. Thank you so much. Let's go. Bruce, you're on that vintage train. I love it. Love to see it, Bruce. That's awesome. Good job. Jesse, 13 months of subbing. You got my, you got my code, right, Jesse? Jesse reached out, said, hey, Brad, I hear you have a gold spot discount code. May I have it, please? And I said, yes, you may. <laughs> it's your birthday, Greg T. 6'5 in the house, man. That's some goals right there. 6'5 in the house, watching the pin Twitch stream of another old guy. Man, the gray's coming out when we cut this stuff short, isn't it? Woof, woof, woof. Got a Sailor 1911S on Friday, my first gold nib pen. Nice. What size nib did you get, Pens Pencils Plus? My mom guilted my brother into having a family party on Sunday. They surprised us all by showing up, except my sister-in-law. They told her ahead of time. That is crazy. Crazy. I don't know. I mean, I would, in the end, I'm sure I would handle that fine. But in the moment, knowing how I am, I would be like, stress buckets, buckets. Jesse, just um, so you all know, and... Not just Jesse. I will be using that code 
myself later today because I got to pick up some stuff um, for a Panatic members giveaway. I gave away one of their new um, Edison new work in that really cool kind of sparkly material. Um, <clears throat> thinking about getting one for myself. That's kind of my aesthetic. Gamma Gamma, how was my weekend? It was really improved by an email I got from you and your compatriot. So if y'all aren't familiar with what Gamma Gamma is up to, I'm telling y'all, y'all are slipping. Y'all, y'all gonna be slipping. So uh, y'all, y'all need to get up in Gamma Gamma's business because you're, you're gonna want to be. I just want to say that. All right, that's all I'm allowed to say. That's all I'm gonna say. But you need to get up in Gamma Gamma's business. That's all it is. Medium, it's perfect for your liking. That is a great first sailor nib choice. Great, great choice. So yeah, that's a wonderful writer. Probably the best all around nib size in the world for me for standard use is Japanese medium. Just it's just it's a writing nib. Use it for my gold spot sailor lighthouse coming today. EF, thanks, Brad. Nice. The, oh man, I shouldn't even look at those deals, should I? Because I'm sure they're still going, maybe. I don't know if they expired or not. What was this week's pin? We are using the Palette High Tech C 0.3 millimeter in black. And we're fighting with it this morning because that's what you do with this pin. We can talk about it some more. Um, yeah, that Edison is enticing. Yeah, so it's a, a Edison Newark, which is a shape they make for gold spot. And they use the diamond cast materials. And re -wizzles, you probably should not go look at it. Knowing you, you should probably not go look at that. And no one should put the link in the chat for re -wizzles to not go look at, just so you say. <clears throat> no cap. Miss Cookie, your birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday. Got a couple pins and inks. Nice. What'd you get? <laughs> Whoops. My Murex showed up Thursday after stream. I'm keeping a stopwatch until my brother fun, run, father runs out and buy one as well. Murex greater than Mew. Let's go ahead and get on the record now. Murex greater than Mew. Good morning. I missed the beginning because I was actually working. You didn't miss much. You know me, Alan. You didn't miss much. What's the best way to get up in Gamma Gamma's business? Uh, can someone put up the... Yeah, so uh, the Tintarius... I don't know if I say it right. But uh, yeah, hit that podcast. If you have a link, uh, y'all can throw the link in here uh, to that link that I did not, re -wizzles really did not need to see this link. Like you probably shouldn't have put that in the chat. Uh, I can't scroll on this page. I got to go over here. You really shouldn't have put that up in the chat. Um, nothing really to see here. Um, you know. I gave this pin away to uh, Pin Attic members this weekend, and I got to go order the winner's, the winner's pin uh, today. So I'm debating on whether I need to order one for myself as well. So, yeah, it's a pin. Dr. Coleman, your William Hanna's arriving today. David is so nice. David is super nice, isn't he? Like, he reached out to me just out of the blue, and now we, like, talk pretty uh, pretty frequently. Hey, congratulations, Jesse. So proud of y'all. So uh, so happy for y'all, Jesse. That's just amazing. I've been following your journey, and uh, you know I love you guys, and uh, I'm just super happy for you. That's amazing. Hey, don't leave him hanging. All right. They knew I was leaving, chat. They knew my mouse left the page. They said, don't leave me hanging. Come back. So that's the link that Rewizzle should not see. Hey, look, there's my tweet deck. Where's that page? <clears throat> that Penzo with the gifted sub, the chuckle stuff. Thank you, that Penzo. Appreciate you very much. Appreciate you very much. I've been in this stream for 15 seconds and I always know it would be fi financially dangerous for me. Welcome, Guinevere T. You are in the wrong right place. <laughs> <laughs> You've ordered a Nakaya? Jesus, Alan. Do you have a Nakaya? I know you have like the fancy pilot stuff, but I didn't know you to be a Nakaya guy. And I read uh, before we started today, I read CY's post on Nakaya, which he really used as a, uh, I, I appreciate the fact that CY used it as a subtle 
um, I want to get this information out there about these music nib feeds. <laughs> Spot. You don't have one? Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Slowing down on pins, but that Nikai Cat and Moon is just calling my name. They always they do a really good job with those. Really, really, really good job, Joe. So yes, Guinevere, you are. Uh, we talk about pens. Like I'm using a three dollar gel ink pen today because it's one of my favorites, and we're talking about like thousand dollar pens too. Like it's nuts. All right, let's see. Let's see what Alan got. Should I put this on the stream, or is this gonna be a problem? <sighs> God damn, that's gonna be a problem. So they're Midori. I don't. Do they even call this Midori? This turned me this colorway. That's wild. Good job by you. I love that green. I didn't know how much I'd love green in a pen until I got my Decapod. Oh, it's got cat paws on the grip section all right damn it you had me there alan brad what do you think of a pen challenge and using a vintage pen for one week i could do that easily i could do that we'll have to um i already know which pen i'd use um i need to think about i just need to remember to do it i'm gonna write myself a note bruce and maybe i can do it soon I'm, I'm going to write myself a note. Because I, I, the ones that I have, I, I do enjoy. I just never use them. So, yeah, I will do that. What is the pen? Um, the um, Parker Vacuumatic Golden Web. Lemon Squeeze, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoy pens. I hope you enjoy hanging out, talking about pens. Uh, we'll try not to spend your money like we're doing uh, Guinevere teas. Is the Mew considered vintage? That's a great question. I go yes. I mean, it's only slightly older than some of the Parkers that I have. Right? I mean, early 70s. The Golden Web, yeah, that was a really, like, when I was thinking about vintage pens, um, that one just stood out to me so much from a design perspective. And um, that was, that pen's got a cool story behind it, too. That's the pen that Mike bought for me because he knew I was I was looking for it, and he went and snagged one off a table. And when he was, he was talking with the person about buying, and he picked it up and shot ink across that person's table. <laughs> So that's how I ended up with my Parker Golden Web because Mike was embarrassed. <laughs> I only ink vintage if I know it's I'm going to be using pen and lots. They don't sit well and they don't travel well. 100%, Jericho. We're on the same page on that. Um, I will use it right here at the desk at home. Um, what year is it? I have no earthly idea. I haven't uh, in inspected it that closely to know. So... Still have no vintage pins, but I've been chasing a green Schaefer tuck away for a while. Michael, that is one of the single best vintage pins you can buy, in my humble opinion. They are such good pins, and for a small pin, they can take whatever you can throw at it, man. Those things can take a beating. And uh, I have two or three. That would be my second choice, but I actually use the tuck away more than I use the Golden Web. So I'm gonna use the Golden Web first, but the Tuck Away, I have a, a brown one with like the finest, firmest nib, like known to man. God, it is so good. It's one of my craziest good writers. I'm not a vintage pen kind of guy. I'm generally not a vintage pen. That's why I'm being challenged to use one of my vintage pens solely for a week. I haven't been in here over a year due to toddler watch. Hey, that's that's good watch. Good watch. You gotta watch the toddlers. Appreciate you, Nib Taylor. Good to see you. Good to see the name change. <laughs> Good to see the top knot. You're way out of your league here. I promise you, Guinevere. Check this out. This is my pen of the day. Pilot High Tech C Black. The review I wrote today, Zebra Sarasa, or yesterday, because today's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Uh, 
the review I wrote. Oh, there's a giveaway. We'll talk about that in a second. This is the review I wrote this week. Gel pens, a rainbow of gel ink pens. We do talk about the wild. We talk about everything, right? So you are definitely 100% in your league here because we, we, uh, we have all been exactly where you're sitting right now. So you are perfectly placed. Love the high tech C.25 because of you. Yeah, that's an awesome pen. I just can't write. I love that if I was an artist and drawing with it. I can't write with that one. But the point three I can write with, which is weird. There are new inner gel colors. I'm going to need all of them, please. Someone sent me a link on Twitter this morning. Um, I found your <laughs> review fair, balanced, and completely wrong. That's how fair and balanced it was. I don't know which way I was wrong. You'll have to tell me, was I wrong to the good side or wrong to the bad side? <laughs> So someone sent me a link, Jerrica. I don't know if you're a um, micro tip pen person, but they sent me a link of the standard inner gel barrel, you know, like the silver one with the color, like the one you get off the store shelf with 0.3 millimeter refills, which I've never seen uh, before. You needed the pens that are 27% more colored. They look great. Like I'm not, I don't argue that they aren't great. I'm arguing, arguing that I have a lot of great. Ordered a couple of waterproof inner gels. I haven't tested those out yet. I need to try them. I have a big uh, um, box from Pentel coming apparently. So we'll be looking at that soon. Yeah, not usually micro tip, then yeah, no worries then. I just thought it was interesting for someone like me. Crap, we just started getting huge hail. That's scary. That is scary. As a person who's bought all of the Sarasa R fin oh, uh, that was the one you said before, <laughs> Penzo. I don't dislike them, Penzo. My addiction is tool pins and the Pentel Point Three. You are a hundred percent in the right place. I have reviewed the tool pins for years. I haven't reviewed some of the recent models and any of the Pentel Point Threes, either the Slitchy or the um, what's the one where it came from? Not Hypergel what they call them before, not the slitchy, starts with an H. They don't really make them much anymore. I guess it's just the Pentel Hybrid. Do they call it the Pentel Hybrid? But it has the slitchy refill in it. Can't do micro tip. The finer the tip, the worse my handwriting gets. Yeah, see, I'm kind of the opposite. That's why I can't do like, um, like German sized uh, fountain pen nibs. <laughs> Like, here's just like a basic... Te yes! Thank you, Mafia Geek. Hi do they call it Hybrid Technica? Hybrid Technica? That's actually the Pentel Sleechy refill in it. FYI. Or vice versa. Pentel Hybrid Technica, right? I think was the full name. Thank you, Mafia Geek. <clears throat> so for those who haven't seen my handwriting, that's just like a small little breakdown of like what my day, what tomorrow's looking like, just trying to sort things out. So I generally write small like that. I have some bigger writing samples I can show y'all if we need to, but. <clears throat> Smand. <laughs> Smand, is, Smand is working this morning. I mean, I don't know what to tell y'all. Who wouldn't want that on their desk? I'm mad this morning. Squirrel. I'm having a squirrel moment. I kicked my speaker cord and now it's just buzzing. And don't you hate that when you do a computer, have a computer and you like that little audio is pain in the butt. I wouldn't want that on my desk. Well, I mean, you're wrong. So I guess there's that. What is a smand? I am so glad you asked. <laughs> I am so glad you asked. So smand is a desk accessory that we now have that I accidentally discovered was really good. <laughs> so I order a lot of stuff. I work a lot with a company called Jet Pens and they have cool Japanese stationery. So they sent me this pen case, right? Well, actually I picked it out because I thought, hey, this is a cool pen case. You know, it's got a nice structure, nice um, big wide opening for a lot of pens. Holds all my 
holds all of my stuff here. And then what I didn't know when I received it was this. Well, we'll just leave that open. I usually leave it open here on my desk. What I didn't know is it has a stand in the front for your mobile devices. And then it wrecked my brain. And then it's also got like room for your pens and it's got like these little rubber stoppers here. So like your stuff doesn't roll away and it now lives on my desk. It's become like this little, uh, little desk ac accessory that I have. And it's kind of great. Like I didn't think it was a thing and it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, Mike just got a smand. <laughs> Did he like it? <laughs> Put smand all over his video. Nice. I'll have to go watch that. It's a, uh, it's a trip. Like it's one of those, it's a pleasant surprise from what should be just like a little simple pin case had this little bit of pleasant surprise in it. And that kind of makes my day, right? It's those are the things that make my day, right? Like I love my fancy pens and my cool paper and all that stuff, but the little stuff like that, that's what gets me going. So <sighs> there we go. Considering one because my Deldy keeps falling over. Which Deldy? Some of them. Some of them are good, or some of them. Did you get the uh, the Tilty the Tilty Deldy? That one could fall over. Could maybe because it's start pulls the weight out in front. I don't know. Did you get your kids man for school man? They cannot they cannot keep up with like the basic number two pencil. Like the the last thing that they need is a smand. They would use it at home. Um, and it's a great name. That's exactly right. Pen addict. Hey Molly. Thunder Viking. 25 months of something. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, and Smans just got a great, like, addictive name, and it's, like, literally the name. Yes, apparently they do have an all-black Smand. Yeah, I gave that one away. I ordered the all-black Smand and gave it away on stream. Still need to get my hands on an 823? Are you going for the amber, or are you trying to do something fancier? Like, clear, or black, or smoke, whatever they want to call it. Smoke? Yeah, smoke's the play. Smoke's the play. Brad, you're failing your kids? I mean... I show them all the things, and if they show interest in it whatsoever, they can have it. Like, my daughter was very happy with the Papermate Ink Joys. So now all her notes are rainbowed in the Ink Joys. But I try to give her other things. She's like, I'm good. And then Tyler, Tyler does, like, some of the spoke stuff, like the mechanical pencils. But... His main thing is probably Retro 51s. He likes the Retro 51s. Um, cool net, 12 months of subbing. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, he likes the retros and some of the mechanical pencil stuff. So, And then they both kind of like colored pencils. They're, they both still use colored pencils pretty frequently. I love the Ink Joys. Very underrated pen. The Paper Mate Ink Joys, very underrated. All right, let me make some room here because we have to start going down the rabbit hole of 2020 Plute 2 planners. Am I late to the game? The Uni pen comes in blue and red now. They had they they started in there. I mean, when they when they first started coming to like jet pens, they had them in black, blue, and red. Definitely. So you're not late to the game. It's just that they don't carry them everywhere. And that's a good pen. Yo, somebody show this grandpa how to subscribe. I still have to work on my links. Are you on mobile or are you on a computer or like an iPad or tablet or something like that? All right. Let me clear some space here. So... What we are going to do Sweet, I've only ever gotten black from jet pens. Yeah. Speaking of penabling kids, I may have just penabled my six year old. He saw an inner gel multi pen and really wanted it. Now it's his favorite thing to write with. iPhone. So if you click on your screen, there's probably a heart 
button, which is the follow button. You want to hit that. And then there's a subscribe button, which should take you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Penzo. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is awesome. Get a gift sub to Nib Taylor. So Nib Taylor, you can see now you have a subscription. And if you want to continue that in the future, there's a button on there, subscribe. Um, and you get little extra emotes in the chat and things like that. And you support me directly, which is great. I appreciate that too. So awesome. Had to go outside, take pictures of the hail, send it to me. Um, Brad, have you ever used a small pen for a long period of time and then hold a slightly bigger pen and it feels huge? Yeah, I mean, but I'm just, I have just so many more small pens and so fewer large pens that it never really like becomes a thing. All right. What we're going to do today is open this box. This is what we're going to call my 2022 planner starter kit. So we're going to go through this. And the one thing I need to know, yes, from jet pens. Did I say that? I might not have said that. Um, one thing I need to know is if you're a planner person, and you may not be, thank you, buy that bunny. I need to save these links so I can put them in my, uh, in, the, in the commands. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab this one right now. Watch this. We're going to do this. Sorry, chat. I got squirreled. This is, this is important. Brad smiles when he picks up boxes. I mean, you know the magic that's contained within? I mean, please. Commands. And this won't be everything that we need here, but it'll be a start. Whoops. And then I can go back and um, edit this a little bit more because I want to put the Am I need a, I want to do a link to the Amazon Prime part two um so i'll go back and edit this let's see if it worked all right so i'm gonna ex i'll expand out that command to say on mobile on desktop and then amazon prime so thank you by that bunny very helpful namiki winter vlad prime months a sub in thank you so much yes i'm gonna put the uh the prime sub in there Oh, we got Guinevere. There goes, watch your wallet. Watch your wallet. Um, all right, let's do this unboxing. What I want to know as I get, I'm going to start getting some of this stuff out because they're not, it's not going to really like flow very well if I, uh, if I don't kind of break it all out at first is if you are a planner person, what's the number one most important thing? when you're considering what planner you use. Is it the paper? Is it the layout? Is it the style? What is, is it like the dimensions that have to be small or large? What is the number one thing with a planner? I would think it would be a lot of layouts, right? That's the reason you buy the planner, right? Ryan Petriello, why is it my alert box? No, 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 you get the special. Let's go, let's go cheer for Ryan. Layout, layout, layout. Paper, paper, paper. Layout and size. See, I'm curious about the size too because they're supposed to be portable or desk bound. Layout and style. I must want to use it. That's good. Layout. I need space to take notes. Right. Layout, paper, paper, paper. Good amount of papers. Right. What good is the layout if your paper's crap? Right. Will you. What, if. Paper is number one. Well, I guess is layout number one. Will you use an inferior pen if the paper is garbage? If layout is number one. Toby's borking because I just did this. Sorry. Bad paper is why I left Leuch term. Layouts can be ignored. Paper is less of an issue. Oh, gifts, Alan, with the gift sub. Let's go. 
Let's go. Thank you, Alan. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Inferior pen usage is not an option. See, these are the issues that we have. <laughs> <laughs> the point is planning but the layout sucks why would i use it if paper is number one use a notebook and build your own bullet journal right size yeah like i i don't want to undersell the fact that size matters sorry in planners right because i use a5 but some people might only want like a b6 oh buy that bunny that works for prime too awesome 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 Buying planners online is so risky because of the paper factor. Facts. Planners go places they travel. I don't plan on using touchy fountain pens on them. See, this is this is fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted. So, for some people, the pen comes first. The pen drives your planner purchases. I think it's fair to say. And then for some people, we'll adjust to the planner layout and use the best pen for the layout. And I think that's fair, right? This is why Hobonichi is so popular, right? All right, let me get this box cranking. Because I don't know, I, I don't think this is everything that I'm getting. I haven't found my perfect pen, lefty issues to layout. We can help you with that pen stuff. What have I missed? We're just starting to talk about planners. Also, Spiral Bound is climbing a priority list for me. I like to be able to leave it open on my desk. But, Chris, do you leave it open, fold it over, or leave it open full spread? That's the one thing. That's, that's like the pro and con of the disc bound. Oh man, maybe this isn't my planner. Maybe this isn't my planner box. <laughs> yeah, give us some details, teeny teeny, or you can email me at hello at pinatic.com. Casually talking about planners and pens while whipping out a knife. Yeah, I open a lot of boxes in here, so. Leaving up a full spread takes up too much space on my desk. Exactly. So like, that is my one hang up with the disc bound. So I will remove pages if I'm working, say if I have my laptop, but I need my planner, I will remove the page and set the page down there. And I, I'm actually good with that. Like, I didn't know that I would be good with that. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. <sighs> Found you a new type of planner next year made by Marks. I think I have some of the Marks ones coming. I don't know exactly what though. Which one, which model, Mike? Or what's, um, or what's the layout like? But I know I have some. So, I'm thinking, Chad, <laughs> this is not my full planner box. So I might have just like ruined the title completely. This just looks like a stuff box. Y'all good with that? There might be some planner stuff in here. We'll see. This is a big box. I mean, there should be some Hobonichi stuff in here. Oh, you know what? This has some planner stuff. There's a G Boon, there's a Stalogy. All right. We're good. We're good. There's another G Boon Techo. Why are you stealing Mark's planner? I know. That's a tough name. <laughs> it's a tough name. A6 because pocket and enough space to write all the things. Going back to Hobo after doing Midori one day a page. Nice. Molly, thank you for the sub. Yay, September. Oh, yeah. There is a September thing going on um, where you get, if you're a first time sub, you get 20% 20 off. The five dollars, and then if you gift subs, they're twenty percent off as well. So that's what September is about on Twitch. So uh, that is very cool. Thank you, Molly, and thank you for your email too. I I'm still considering what to do about your email, but I'm I, I got it. It's a five agenda month on two days, followed by weeks times two days. Okay, we'll have to see what I got. All right. Um, this might be a longer stream than I thought. Because there's not just planner stuff in here, all right? Let's see. Show us stuff. I'm coming, I'm coming. I already showed you a fancy purple pen that you should like. Purple and blue and spacey. All right. 
Carol's on the Pin BBS bandwagon. She keeps saying, Brad, you got to review the Pin BBS. You got to review the Pin BBS. And I keep getting the Pin BBS and I keep sending them off to other people to review. Maybe this is the one I keep to review for myself. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. There's jungle stuff on the cover. So what do we have here? We have a Pin BBS. Do we have a name? Oh, I need to look for the receipt or the, sh the packing list. It's buried somewhere within. This is a huge box, y'all. I thought it was just notebooks. It is not. We're going to be here a while, which is good. I got nowhere else to be, which is a lot. Okay, this one's called Moon River. How do you know which model it is? 456. So it's the model 456 Moon River, which is a piston filler? I'm very confused. Temporary the Rye, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. This one's called Moon River. Um, it's a little bit of a different shape than the traditional one. Um, this might be the newer shape, right? Um, it's a bulk type filler like the Conan. Okay, so this is the one Jacob has been talking about um, at uh, Tokyo, um, on the Tokyo Inklings podcast. Is this the one Jacob's been referring to? God, look at these colors. That's pretty wild, right? with the filling system. See why I really like them? Okay. I knew that they had been talking about it. So what size nib do I have on here? F, this fine nib. I need to get an uh, extra fine. I see what you're doing, Sarah. I see what you're doing. So this has a different filling system. So it's more of a bulk filling type. That is a very sailor looking nib, isn't it? <laughs> Whoops. Shocker. I already reviewed one. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, and this one's a different filling system too. So different model than the standard one. So this might be the one I finally break down and review. I love the material. It's really nice. And then, so it's got the... Uh, Ships with the card to tell you how the filling system works. <laughs> Things like that. Bet it doesn't write like a sailor nib, though. Probably factually correct. But, hey, it's a steel, steel fine nib. I'm good with that, so. This could be cool. I, I am color me intrigued. Put it that way. Um, it's definitely really good looking, right? Materials are pretty neat. Material is super pretty, and it's got that, uh, my favorite word chat, chatoyance. Is that what this is in these little, uh, these little, um, pieces of material here where it really shines? I'm glad this one has silver trim. I don't know that this one would have popped as well with the, um, with gold trim. Oh yeah, they the uh, the whole Twitter they had Twitter definitely manipulated that. <laughs> they I put on a um already only tried one PBS pen and pen BBS pen and it was trash. What was the trashiest part about it? Was it the feel, the mechanics, the nib? Um So we'll see. So yeah, I sent out uh, um, a tweet of what Twitch sent out after the um, day off Twitch last week. It wasn't great. It was corporate. It was corporate. See why and Jacob usually swap the nibs. <laughs> that makes sense. You might have a spare EF to send me. All right, I might have. Who knows what I have in this box? If there's another pen BBS, so all right, that's that. All right. I'm going to save the uh, the planners for last. We'll go through the rest of the stuff. What's a nib? It is the writing part of the pen. So this metal part here. Whoops. So this comes in different tip sizes up here. 
to change the fineness of the line that you write with, right? So you can have one that's like extra fine, like thin lines. You can have one that's broad that writes white, uh, wide lines. So nib is that whole front piece there. Whoop, sorry. And let's laugh. That, I'm even surprised how much I like that JR. Not that I didn't think I would like the JR. I like it better than I thought I would like the JR. I guess it's just that small pen um, fandom that I have. I just, I really appreciate a really good writing experience from a small pen. I'm sorry, should I put this on mute when I unbox this? Just a bottle of ink. Ooh, that was loud, sorry. Um, Private Reserve Avocado. So last week, I opened up one of the new, um, whatever, whatever they're calling the uh, new formulation of the Private Reserve. But the Private Reserve color, one of the colors that they're most known for ever is avocado. So we want to test this out to see, to see what's the deal. Yes, Guinevere, definitely ask questions. It's really, really cool. Really, really cool. We need the ASMR. Then I should do it a little bit more nicely instead of aggressively. So now that they're spelling it right, it's no fun. Did they used to spell it wrong on the old version? Mike, have you tried this? Have you tried the new private reserves yet, Mike? So, yeah. This is something um, that we'll just test and uh, see what the deal is. Do these have the same Gigantor moisturizer bottles? Yes, they do. Look at that. Ink bottle or moisturizer? Your call, chat. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> it's just me and Toby right now. And that's twice I've sent him off the deep end from banging on the desk. Only thing to be aware of is that they're really wet. Good to know. Port Toby, come here. Toby. If he'd come hang out in here, maybe he'd realize I'm uh, what I'm doing. What breed is Toby? He's a Bichon Poo. He's a little fluff ball. He's me and he's a jerk. He doesn't like people. He's a jerk butt. Looks like a Noxima bottle. Exactly. Another bottle of ink. <laughs> Toby, come here. Seems the original owner of Private Reserve was a Gibson guitar enthusiast. Avocado is a Gibson guitar finish, but everyone thought it was a fruity name. Come here. Come here. Oh. People want to know where that loud borking is coming from. You want to bork for them? Hmm? Oh, you don't like being up here. You're still too, uh, you're trying to figure out where all the bad guys are. Huh? Did you find them yet? Huh? Did you find the bad guys? Look, watch, it's me. Watch, watch. See, it was just me. All right. No more borking, okay? All right. All right. Go get them. <clears throat> Should have named him Tony. That would have not gone well. All right. Oh, we got to go back here. Um, was Orange Crush another old one, or is that a new? This seems like another old one. Seems like I've heard about Orange Crush a bunch. Yeah, he doesn't like coming up here. He just wants to, I mean, if he does, he just wants to sit in my lap. He doesn't care about any of this. Old, yeah, old. That's what I, I was thinking was old. So... Something to try. The colors look good, um, but we'll we'll test these out and and see what's up. Probably give one away at some point in time. We're gonna do some giveaways today, chat. Um, we'll do one soon from something I find in here, and then we'll figure out the rest. I just keep looking down at this box and I'm like, oh my god, right, what have I done? 
I almost should just go straight to the planners and save everything else for another day, but I also kind of want all this stuff out today, right? Avocado and burgundy mist were the two colors I got when they first relaunched. Gotcha. All right. We're going to make a stack of planners over here, and we'll do those at the end. All right, so what do we have here? So we have here our little mini word cards. So this is a classic Japanese stationery item um, that we've seen. Um, it's mostly made for students, but what we use them for, and um, our friend Anna at the Well Appointed Desk has made so wonderfully, is ink sampling. Um, so these are like little mini cards. Like these are almost too small for like ink samples, but it's kind of a neat, uh, it's just kind of a neat little card thing with a, it's almost like a hairband, like a rubber tie here. Um, this, do these come apart? Yeah, so it actually comes off with like a little ball and snap thing here. So you can take some out and remove them. Um, increase the ring, add washi tape to it. I think that's what Miss G's Crafties would do. There would be washi tape on this side of the ring so yeah it's uh, uh these are about the little dipper sizes yeah so almost you could probably cut these in half and, and make dippers or whatever what are the mini cards supposed to be used for studying essentially like flash cards so so these are essentially what uh japanese students would use for flash cards they come in a lot of different sizes this is about the smallest size i've seen they come in one that's about uh, probably about double the size <clears throat> so you know if you want to go straight inks you definitely want to use the colorings but if you just want to i don't know maybe you do something with you know artistic or maybe you use them for studying or things like that so um that's what they're for. So it's just one of those things, random things I like to pick up from now and again that I don't know what I'm going to do with. So Pentel has made some new colors for the graph gear. This is the mid-range mechanical pencil for them. I forget what the low range is called. Then the graph gear is the mid-range and then the Graph Gear 1000. Is that the full, the full metal, full metal jacket guy? So I got this one number one because it's orange, and number two because it's 0.3 millimeters. And I don't recall them having like these cool colors in the 0.3 millimeters before. So I got that, got that good for uh, something, something for me to try out. Um, even though I generally don't prefer the 0.3 mechanical pencils, I'm usually a 0.5 guy. 0.3 is actually too fine for me, um, which is a surprise. But when you're dealing with mechanical pencil, that's, that's a very fragile, fragile uh, thing. Ooh, check those out. The things that make me ooh and ah, that makes me ooh and ah. Retro accents. So are these the colors? Special edition retro accents. 12 pens. Do they list the colors? Do we have like cool color names? It actually worries me that they're called retro accents. Like they're all black but have fun barrels. They don't list the colors. Retro accents. These got to be colors though. These got to be colors. I mean, yeah, this color scheme is sick. These will go straight into the smand. I'll probably review these. Oh, they redesigned the clip. The clip's a little flatter than before. I haven't seen these clips in a while. You have to open them now to check? I'm going to wait. Because I never know if I'm going to send this off for review. This will be hard not to keep for myself. But look at those colors. There's no way these are black. Yeah, it says vivid colors here. There we go. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, they're colors. Thank you, Lori. I assume they were, but it's a little weird how they didn't list the colors. But now I see it over here in the corner, vivid colors. 
but they didn't list black, so I was sure it wasn't that, but cool. <sighs> Papermate flares. You cannot go wrong with a good Papermate flare, y'all. You just can't. Let's slide this right here. You got the scented flares? Nice. Inner Gel, Pikachu. These look so good. Does this whole sticker stay on here? Because that does not look so good. Oh, man, this, this whole piece is part of the pen. The wrap on the pen. Man, that's lame. Because that's a really killer looking pen. But this does not, this is, oh, that makes me mad. This entire thing is part of the wrap. That's like, I mean, that's like a, I don't know, maybe a quarter, quarter of the design. Because look how good this looks. I mean, that's just classically good. And it's on the top, right? Like, what are we doing here? But look at this. But look where it's sitting at. I don't mind. Okay, if it's on there, it's on there. But look how it's aligned to the uh, to the clip. Now that's a mistake. <laughs> that's a mistake. Man, this went from great to not so great real quick. And there's no there's no. What are they thinking? to put this on the top. What is the thought process here? I'm gonna have to Instagram this. I can unscrew the pin, but the problem, I don't think, this doesn't twist because it's built around the clip here, right? It's not a, a conical barrel. This is ridiculous. I am actively upset about this. Like, I mean, I guess they didn't want to cover Pikachu, but it's still... Who wants to look at this while they're writing? You tend to hold pens like that clip down? I couldn't do it. It would drive me bonkers. <laughs> but, like, it could be moved under the... Mm. I am... That's disappointing, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm disappointed in that. One of this, I got two of them too. Same. It's it. It is a choice. This, but like the seam is right here, right? So like this is the seam. Why doesn't the seam run around the back? And why don't they design Pikachu to come over here or over here? It's confusion by that bunny. I mean, yes, disappoint, huge disappointment. But that's my visual. Man, how disappointed can I be? I'm going to get in their asses on Instagram. It's not even that it's designed for a lefty, because if it was designed for a lefty, wouldn't this just be on this side? It's like, I get we don't put the clip over the art, but we don't, this is not the decision. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand how being a lefty would help. Because these, I mean, these designs are great. The colors are great. The color schemes are great. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get in some asses. That's terrible.
thank you for doing what you do because I would be so annoyed if I bought that. Now you've saved me. I mean, that's an that's an insta buy, right? Like if you go on jet pins right now, I don't even know if they're out. So disclosure, I got all this stuff for free from jet pins. This is a lot of this stuff is preview stuff. It may not be on their site. I'm allowed to show it, but it may not be there yet. If once these go up on the site, they will be sold out immediately. Right? I mean, are they they're out now? Are they sold out? Because usually all these like the 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 Pikachu stuff um tends to sell out pretty quickly. Pika went up last week. Are they still available. They must have lots of them. So <sighs> Oh, there's definitely ways to design for left-handed stationary use, but that, I don't see it with that. All right. Uh, man, the art is so good. The art is great. All right, uh, Stabilo. These are the classic highlighters. Just break the clip off. I would almost consider that if it wasn't shaped into the pen, like if it was a conical barrel, just completely round. <laughs> So who knows? But in these are some more uh, pastel colors, right? So these are their original shape and design of the text surfer, which is one of the great classic fountain pens. Excuse me, highlighters, fountain pens. Jesus. Um, with more more pastel colors. <laughs> they really changed their uh, word stamp here too. It's kind of cool. I like these. Um, yeah, should be good. When I decide to open all this stuff up, we're not gonna do the we're not gonna do much testing today, but we can like test out all this stuff on um on a future stream. I didn't realize what I was getting into today when I opened this box, honestly. So we'll do actual test product testing later. After I get in some butts on the on Pikachu. Alright. Everyone knows a Fabric Castell box when they see it. Gray highlighters, underrated member of the highlighter color family, right? <laughs> Pikachu orients nicely for lay flat photos. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> it's not intended for use, right? I mean, you're not wrong, but what a scam! Scam. I am very disappointed in you. Stupid pins. All right, I don't know what I got here. I think I got, do they have new col colors of ambition? I think that's what I got. That's what I got. Oh, so this is, this. Is, we'll have to get this up close in the camera. Um, what are they calling this color? Opart Sky. Park Sky. So it's blue, but it has like some kind of goldish. Let's see. I have too much stuff in the background now. And there you can kind of see the undertones. It's like a goldish brown. It's more gold than brown. It's really hard to see, but it's really, really pretty. Um, and then these are the ones with the really unique sections that you kind of, you have to hold up on the barrel. You, you can't be a close gripper or a low gripper here and be like super comfortable, right? They're not really designed for this. They're designed to be held right back here, which as a low gripper myself, it works for me, but it's close. So, but these are a great price point fountain pens. They're usually like a hundred bucks, something like that. Um, and they're really, really nice. They're exceptionally nice. Yeah, and this was one of the two new patterns that I saw. I could be wrong. And um, I think the other one was like a, a darker blue, and it looked equally as nice. So yeah, great color. Great color. It does have a, it does have a slight texture. Like it's generally smooth, but you can feel a little bit of the texture. And it's also like more of a satiny feel, right? It's not like a polished acrylic, right? It's kind of got. It's not like matte, but it's like that satiny feel. This is just like 
That's just like a good looking pen, right? All right. Man, I'm still thinking about these Pikachu pens. <laughs> it's so dumb. It makes me so angry. <laughs> It makes me so angry. Stupid pens. <laughs> oh, this is what I thought that first pack was. This is weird. I don't know how this is going to work, which is why I got them. So these are Faber-Castell glitter highlighters is the best way to do it. Um, highlight metallic, metallic effects. I know you want me to test these out. We're gonna have to do that later. There's way more stuff we gotta get to. I did a whole stream title today that we haven't even touched. So, I don't know if you can be metallic and shimmery while also being a highlighter. It seems to me that you're a marker at that point. Fine, I will test them out. I'll test these out. Like, calling them a highlighter is what has me mostly confused. Um, do I have a note? I'm trying to find a white paper. I think I have some note pages up here. Give me a second. Yeah. Quisp and Tang, 26 months of summon, holy. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Don't tell those pins what they can or can't be. That's kind of my job. Right? I'm about to tell Pin Tell that they can't put Pikachu in the corner. Nobody puts Pikachu in the corner. What kind of crap design is this? I'm going to tell them. <laughs> Ain't the pin that's Mike. 16 months of something. Let's go, Mike. Stretch with three. Eight months of subbing. Thank you so much. Y'all are awesome. I appreciate their y'all support. It's super cool. Super cool. Super cool. All right. Metallic effects. So we also, I'm going to, this seems to be a little, um, soaked in sparkle. So I'm going to, I'm just going to color with it a little bit. Then I'm gonna write some text with the terrible Pikachu inner gel, and then we'll highlight over that text to see if you can read it. Because I'm very curious if these are actually like highlighters or markers. It's pretty light. Let me get some of this sparkle out of here. We wanna move the sparkle down a little bit. We're wearing out the tip already. It might be light enough. Please take off these from your pens. I've gotten emails in the past with pictures attached. It says my pen won't write, or what is this thing? Just take them off. Uh-oh. We didn't have a bet. I'm a spelled pen tell. Boss Baker Chris, three months of subbing. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. When the light hits the sheen, it makes it hard to read. Yeah, we'll test that. We'll test all this out in a second. Some of my faculty don't know how to take the ball tip off pens. It hurts my soul, man. It hurts my soul. I have gotten that email. 
<laughs> Not even a joke. Not even a joke. All right. I mean, you know what? We need to do this. See, we may not ever leave today here, chat. God dang it. Hey, can y'all see the cool artwork on this pen? Psych. I'm gonna warm these up a little, little, little bit. Get some of the 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 shine off the the very very base of. Whoa, boy, these do not like. These do not like double lines over the page, or double nickels on the dime. Either one. Like this one wasn't really soaked in the in the sparkle, like the other ones. All right. <sighs> uh, brand new icons soon and grippers. Every day it gets sooner and sooner. All right. I'm gonna do a single line right through the middle of these, and then I'll sh I'll show you on on the camera real quick, and we'll see what we look like. I may need, I probably need to get like a book too or something like that. I mean, technically, I guess you're able to read these. Really the only metallic-y one you see kind of, you see in the purple. Oh, I guess you can see it in all of them. This is William Hanna Plana paper. It's just the stock white sheet. So you can see it in the blue one on the line here. All right. It'll probably work. It'll probably work. I'm curious about how much they cost. Yeah, that's why I don't have a, a receipt in here because this was a, a pre-sample pack. Y'all can look and see if they're up on the site yet. I don't know if they are or not. So there you go. Faber-Castell Shimmer Highlighters. Oh, this is going to bother me if I don't put them back in the same color that they're lined up here. Didn't smear the gel much. Yeah, that's that's a 0. 0.5 inner gel highlighter. So since we're highlighting, I think these are probably more my speed. 750 for the four pack. That seems completely in line. So these are some more standard highlighter colors. These are the pastel stabilos. Ooh, look at that orange. I mean, how pastel-y are these compared to standard highlighter colors? That pink is hot. Maybe slightly more pastel-y. But I mean, those blues and oranges, are that's pretty, pretty standard. I mean, the blue and pink are pretty standard highlighter colors. This really pops. Orange is pretty bright for a pastel. It's orangey too. It is. There's not a lot of yellow in it. It's pretty orange. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going pastel on these. Agree. Really, I mean, really nice. Like, I mean, I'm using that pink one immediately. Pink, blue. I think the orange is probably my least favorite. It's very, very sharp. It's very bright. Pink, that pink is a standout color. I wonder if you can buy those separately. All right. We might never 
end today. Oh my god, I got an even bigger pack. These are the scented ones. E Milanax, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. I got the scented ones, y'all. We're gonna have a whole stream on scented flare tests. Scented Sunday brunch. What the heck is going on here? Are you telling me these are food? Like, like Sunday brunch? What is happening? Oh my god. Hazelnut latte, homemade raspberry jam, pink peony, fresh fruit parfait, Vermont maple syrup, blueberry pancake, frosted cupcake with sprinkles, vanilla blueberry tart, strawberry scone. 16 scented felt tip pens. Are there 16 cents or are those, what is happening here? Why don't they have names on the pens? He got these for your niece. <laughs> this looks like a good Thursday stream chat. What do you think? Good Thursday stream? Marker huffing stream? We're going to have to figure something out. That's wild. Sunday brunch. Try all 16 cents. Oh, here's the rest of them. Floral blossoms, lavender lemon square, buttermilk biscuit chat, buttermilk biscuit scented paper mate flare, buttermilk biscuit. Peaches and cream cobbler, sugar grapefruit, honeydew melon, honey tangerine. Holy cow. Unless Knock has a new pack, pack to show off Thursday, I promise you we don't. <laughs> All right. The stationary Bruce. I, like, I need someone else to sniff. Y'all hear me? He's snorting all the time. I don't have the best sniffer. Okay. We're in. We're in. We have retro accents and we have smelly ones. My daughter might actually steal these. Yeah, my kids will want these. Yes, exactly. Fran Lab has a good review of flare pins. Nice. Flare pins are great. All right, we might actually be able to get to um, the planners now. I don't know what I did here. Oh, these are colored. All right. So this is a Monami. Um, these little uh, ballpoint pens with little characters on there. And I think I ordered them, I mean, because the designs are cool, but the ballpoints, the ballpoint ink is colored ink. So the color matches the barrel in this situation. So pink, orange, green, blue, gray, I think. Or is it black? Sweet pink, salty orange. Is orange ever salty? Is orange ever salty? confused sparkly green mild blue bitter black why is orange salty these are not scented but they are 0.5 ballpoint color pens i just bought for fun they look pretty cool 153 yummy i don't know what that means have fun little characters on them cool oh that's not it good grief we're going to get the planners, I promise. We have washi tape with uh, Nemo on it. This is where the small things go to hide in the bottom of the box. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, we have cool unicorns. Oh, this one's very unicorny. Can you see that? I like this one. It's like subtle, antique, antique style unicorns. That's pretty cool. cool. Little Nemo. Yeah, clownfish. It must have a, oh, there's a penguin. And crabs on that one. That looks cool. I don't know if these are all gonna fit in here in the penguin butt. What's this one? Uh, foxes. 
foxes and squirrels. Oh, and acorns. Nice. And then lastly, viper green ink cartridges. So that was kind of the <laughs> the bottom of the box. All the stuff uh, kind of fell down there. Yeah. So these are all good fall color washi tapes. Three different three different sizes or two two different sizes. Gigantor and normal sizes. That's the official sizing when you go look them up. Gigantor normal. Yeah. I don't think these are. I, I think the penguin is gonna have a tough time with like the Gigantor one. Probably not gonna work. All foxes are awesome. That's factually correct. Okay. We need to do a giveaway. And then I'm gonna take a break and then we're gonna get into planners. My first batch of planners is here. I don't have the Hobonichi stuff yet, but we'll get into this. What should we give away? Stupid Pentel. Stylish Sunny, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Um, I think this is a good giveaway. The retro 12 pack of Paper Mate Flares. Let's give that away. I look overwhelmed. Hydrate. I do need to hydrate. I'm very thirsty. I'm actually, I'm not overwhelmed. I'm a little spaced out because this is not how I intended this stream to go today. I had a plan today. We're going to talk about planners. And then my box um, had other, other ideas. Ice cold H2O today. All right. Let's give this set of flares away. Let me just make room because I'm going to need room for the planners and I need room for the keyboard. Give me one second. I'm going to keep these inner gels on the desk so I can go yell when we get done here. All right. Oh, almost. All right. So we're going to give away retro accents color paper mate flyers. These look great. All right. Giveaway. So what we're gonna do here, anyone can enter. Once I launch this, you will see how. All right, so this is for this awesome set of retro flares. <clears throat> oh, I'm not even clicking that link, I might get a virus. All right. So the giveaway is live. You have two minutes to type exclamation point raffle in the chat. That's all you need to do. You only need to do it once. It'll overwrite anytime you do it second. I'm going to put this on mute. And you're going to watch the chair while I go to the restroom. I'm going to get some water. And then I'm going to come back and we have several planners to start going through. All right. I'll be right back.
Did it finish yet? Did it finish? Oh, look at that. Almost perfect timing. Almost perfect timing. Way to go, Jackie. You need to pay more attention to stream when you're working. I mean, priorities, please. Priorities? Hello? All right. <clears throat> All right, I don't know what y'all said before, so I'll, I will hold hold any judgment on your previous chats. All right, let's pick a winner and let's get into some planning. Cal Riddle slash sarcastic. Cal Riddle, are you sarcastic? Is that part of your 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 life's goal? Slash sarcasm. Was that a slash sarcasm entry? <laughs> Congratulations, Cal Riddle. Multi-time winner. Oh, we got to use this one. We got to use this one. Oh, I'm going to use stupid Pikachu to write your name on here. <laughs> All right, email me your shipping address. Everyone's giveaway prizes from last week shipped. Um, depending on your postal services and being on holiday, they may not, you may not have them yet. Oh, I just did my slash wrong. I wrote my slash wrong on your, on your card. All right. So we're going to talk about planners. Now we're going to go through this first batch that I got. This is the pre Hobonichi batch of planners. And when we're done, we're going to give one of them away. We'll figure that out at the end. This was my intention to start the stream with today. So you can tell we're going to go, we're going to run a little bit while longer. So thanks for hanging out. Y'all hydrate if you need to hydrate. Y'all probably aren't talking as much as me though. So I need to hydrate more. Oh, I got hail. I got a hail picture from like an hour ago. I just saw on my screen. Can we show your can we show your hail picture on here, Sarah? There we go. This is what's going on at Inkwell Monsters House. That's serious business hail. Serious business hail. <clears throat> Large scale hail. <clears throat> All right. Let me get Cal's winnings over here out of the way. Do not cover up the air vent. That would make it hotter than it already is in here. All right. That is crazy. Any damage? That's hardcore. <clears throat> that is. Not something you mess around with, Hale. Mm. Well, I hope everything's okay. That's that's no bueno. All right, let's move back to this. Not that. This. All right. First up. Are they calling this a Jibun Techo? Because I think I have one that actually says Jibun Techo on here. Or are they all... So, this is a big planner. So, I think this is just the... I think we're just going to... Are we going to call this the Jibun? Yes, there we go. Jibun Techo 2022. This is the big one in the small size. So what size is this? Three in one life log diary. So diary says weekly, monthly, and yearly schedule, monthly project, my dream, money plan, weekly plan, Japan map, list of 100 wishes, favorite phrases, recommendations, books, movies, gifts, and promise, looking back, route maps, personal data. That's just the diary section, chat. Thank you by that bunny. <laughs> I finally caught it on the back side. I thought I'd seen it. In the life section, oh, this is, no, this is more. 
Uh, dream, 100 wishes, motto, life plan, plan, anniversaries, travel map, my news, family tree, emergency contacts, password hints. Don't do that. Don't do that. Skip that one. Skip password hints. Financial management medical record. Idea grid memo pages. So again, life log diary. There is a lot going on here. A lot. Are we going A5 slim here? This feels shorter than A5. I need to get up my ruler. B6 slim? That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Also, you probably it's hard to see because I can't quite get it all into the camera sometimes. Definitely B6 slims. Could I ask a question? What about Intergel Pentel? They're one of the best uh, gel ink pens on the market, in my opinion. Except the Pikachu. <laughs> but they're awesome. I mean, that's literally Pentel right here. Pentel Intergels are amazing pens. Except this one with the, the barcode on here. <laughs> The best gel pen, you will not get an argument from me. It is not my preference. I understand the uh, the inner gel love, though. They're, they're that good. Yes, they're that good. All right, so this comes with separate inserts in here. Okay, this is wild. I haven't seen one of these before. So... We have pre-built inserts here, all right? So the back section's the note section, all right? Is that a two millimeter grid? Almost looks like three. So this entire back insert is just for notes, okay? Ideas. The entire front section is for life. So let's see what we have up here. We're not gonna go through every last little detail here, but I wanna flip through this one because it is really, really intense with everything that they are packing in here. <clears throat> so, an entire how to use it page, a life stream page, like this is like your bucket list type of stuff. Like, they are really going all in on this. The good part about this is that this section is removable, so you don't... You, this is not something you want to do every year, right? So... You can remember... This is this is stuff that you can move from planner to planner. It's not specifically dated, right? Personal motto, life plan. Um, this is like your birthday and ho birthday calendars, right? Because it has the month and it has the dates, but it, they're not tied into a day. All right, Bernte, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. So the life book is one for your whole life. Yes, seems that way. World travel map, Japan travel map. I like the fact that they designed it in the grid so you could like color them in if you wanted to. Um, oh, wow. Like literally start young. <laughs> start young. At 0000, zero, zero, zero I was born. <laughs> That's what we're going to do on that one. <laughs> at 0000, zero, 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 I was born. Um, wow. So this is your whole... Wow. This is like literally your life. This one, this page, 69. Nice. So it's 69, 69. We write nice. Man, how old am I going to live to? This is an event. Let's find out how old I'm going to be. Because it says it in the book. Ooh, 94. 94. 99. Oh, I'm going to be 99. I'm going to be 99. All right. This is meant to be portable. All right. Family tree. Contact list. Photos. So, yeah. There you go. This is... You're going to move this from Techo to Techo. Okay. 
All right, you don't want to fill that out every year. Someone uses Carrot Weather. It's probably one of my most used apps. I am a premium subscriber or whatever they call that. All right, so yeah, life. Then we get into the more meat and bones of the planner. Oh, what did this say? It had a sticker on here. It says thin paper thin paper for this one. Which is the which is the best paper? Which is the best paper? So it says uh, thin paper on the cover here. Um meat and potatoes of the planner. So what we'll just do is we'll look at um a standard day. So like they have obviously the monthly stuff or a week. So this is a weekly planner. I know Mike's used this in the past. Um, so this is one week broken down into hours. I don't know how well you can see this on the stream. Probably not very well. It's tiny. So this block basically starts 6 a.m. This is your overnight hours. 6 a.m. all the way to midnight here. And then we have extra, extra bits at the bottom where you can track like mood tracker, weather, that type of thing, you know, what the some more like specifics outside of your daily stuff. And this is each day is vertical, right? Each day, vertical spots broken down by half hour. Okay. That's the meat and bones of the G Boom Techo. It is very aggressively planned, right? These are like you want to break down like your day, kind of like what I do, but I even in a, in a tinier space. If you need to see how your week's gonna uh, lay out on, on a full layout spread, like if you can write small, this is great. All right, so this is the bulk of what the G-Boon Techo is about. This is the bulk of why this became a popular system, right? This is, I, I don't know the, the the Japanese rankings for popularity in their systems, this is one of them, right? So this will take you all the way into 2023. Then you get into the extras, so route maps and things. But anyway, this is the bulk of the planner, is this seven day per week, vertical days layout, broken into half hour segments, okay? So when you hear Jibun Techo, this is generally the layout that people are talking about. All right, we good? Makes sense. Makes sense. Moving to Tokyo because I bought this planner. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So, and this one contains all the things, right? So you have your, you can buy just the Techo planner. I know you can buy the idea books. I don't know if you can buy the life books separately. I would assume so. All right. And this one has a plastic cover to hold hold everything, all right? So when you hear the Jibun Techo, it's really that planner system in the interior there, right? Hey, Rook and Rasp, I am on Twitch. Still talking about pens. Crazy. So I wonder if I have in this kit a standard techo let me look here all right so that was that one came by itself then i have like three other planners here you can buy the life separately i figured that makes sense that life that life planner is good for anyone anytime right you don't have to buy into the uh jibun techo system to have that life planner which is kind of neat apologies as i Move my entire desk. Oh boy. I think I got the big size of that one too. <laughs> I was thinking this was like three planners. Technically it is. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I do, I order a lot of these things via text. Check that out. Okay, I'll hit that link in a second as soon as I stop making noise. All right. Whew. That was loud. 
Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh, this is good. I went long on the stream chat because my wife went to the grocery store and she's home and I don't have to help carry in groceries. I have an excuse. Shh. Talking about you. <laughs> she did not appreciate that. Shh. Um, apparently, I bought, I, I acquired, I received the same one, same layout we just did here, but in what are we calling this size? Are we calling this A5 Slim? Go help, we can wait. Hell to the no. Heck no. Um, thin paper in this one. Oh no, I was wrong. This is different. I should open them up and stop talking. It's different. It's different. This is different. A5 Slim and a half. So Brad, I have a Franklin Kristoff that does not write how I like. Do you think it would be a good idea to send it in or wait till the Philly Pin Show? And do you know if I can just send the nib unit to get it tuned up? You can just send the nib unit. Um, I would go, ahead, if you really like using the pen, I'd go ahead and send it. Because what's now, September? You could probably get it back by October. Bradley with no E. Bradley with no E. All right, so what are we doing here? I am I confused myself. So this is G Boon Techo Days. Okay, so this is a complete retract, rewind, rip out what I just said. It's not the same at all. All right, so this one's split up a little bit different. So this is a full year, two-part set. So January through June is already in the little cover that they send you. And then once you fill that, you'll end up with July through December. Um, so let's just take the one in the cover here. This day is split a little bit differently. So you, this is more standard planner-ish. You got your base calendar. You got your uh, month for two page calendar. And then this is something that would be more my style of how I work. So I can take my one day per page, which is what I like. I'll have to find this link, Chrissy. This one's cool. This is more like this one's called the Jibun Techo Days. So yeah, like I could totally use this layout, even though the time splits the center, right? So you have, uh, we start at midnight to midnight. That's our run. Time down the center. The way I use my planner now, I could have my schedule over here or over here, and then notes on the opposite side that I use. So one day, Similar to how I have this. This is a good setup. I like this setup. Not that I dislike this one, the, the first one I showed you. I just can't use that. That's the traditional G Boon Techo setup. So, like, this is just an old page of mine. So, I like my hours, and then I can have notes here. Like, not every day has notes, right? Some do. You know, like this. So I need that two-sided one for um, how I schedule things out via time. The only issue I see here, and it's not that big of an issue, it's just a thought, is right, your, your day is, is bulked in the middle, right, for most of us. Most of us, our day is going to be bulked right here in this window, you know, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. ish. So, you know, you'll want to figure out what to do up in the top here. You know, instead of just writing sleep every day, you have extra space for writing. Depending on how you do your time schedule, like I could do, so like I could have 10 o'clock stream over here blocked off. And then to the side of the 10 o'clock stream, I could say, hey, we're going to talk about planners and flare pens and washi tape and things like that split out over here, which is what I do already. I'll have stream and then I'll have a note block over here to decide like to expand on what I've assigned for that time block so yeah 
So yeah, these don't. Uh, this is just goes into month the the big month. Straight into one day per page, and is that it? So that should be it because it's split into two books. So one day per page split into two halves of the year, six months, so you use it for six months, and then you come and you swap out the insert for another six months, okay? Um, and that's it. So they almost did like a simplification of their normal Jibun Techo in the Jibun Techo days. Little extra accessories uh, here to show you I do like the uh, day and date style here just to give you a future idea of what day is what. They have check boxes down the left side of the page for tasks. They do have room at the bottom, you know, your mood boards and things like that and just for extra, extra writing. And then a little extra mini calendar for what day you're on. Do they have anything at the beginning of the month? I don't think so. So let's see, this is April. Oh, they do. They do have a general uh, April layout, except I can't read it. So there is an open page in the in the thing. Um, the moods things, I would say, yeah. I think the mood things come in handy. Are these available yet? I'll need to check. If not, they should be very, very soon. They probably are on jet pens. That's where I got these from. So you'll need to read Japanese to understand what these blocks are, get them translated once, then you can use them every month. So that's the beginning of the month. And then it just, that's the only page at the beginning of the month is this page. Okay. So there you go. Split into two, split into two parts. Um, Plastic cover, stock plastic cover. Yeah, that's that. All right. So yeah, these are two different types of planning from uh, Jibun Techo, from Kakuyo in the Jibun series. All right, so that's that. Oh yeah, thank you Tessa, I will take a look at that. And we got one more to go through the day. I'm still waiting on my Hobonichi stuff, so we will get, we'll do another Hobonichi stream soon as well. I, I might even have some more other planners coming, I can't even remember. I do this every year. Um, so I can just see some of the new layouts or some of the old layouts in the case of this theology, which we'll look at in just a second. <clears throat> I did see this. I'm probably going to have to order this. So where did they put the weight of this paper on here? thought that they did. So yeah, for some reason, um, in the Japanese market, they use that croquis term for a lot of like the sketchbook and drawing pages. But then when they come out with like a 60 GSM croquis paper, it turns out they're kind of exceptional for writing. But it doesn't list... Oh, here, I missed the whole specs. Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, look at this. Even more important, right here. Can y'all read that? Can you read that? I'll show you. This answers a lot. Can you read it now? I will definitely be ordering some of this. 
Yeah, the cream. I just thought it doesn't list the weight. It doesn't list the, the, the paperweight. Interesting. 60 GSM is the stuff that I like. So I can find out. So that's, that's really cool. That's cool. I like that. I think they have two is why I'm hesitant, Mafia Geek. Do they not have an 80 or something higher than 60? I thought there was a second cream paperweight. Dream planner would be with bank paper. Jesse, we are like, I, I, I'm with you. That's the ticket. Does anyone, who, who does a bank paper planner? Me and Jesse need one. Found my old Franklin Covey cover. Now I want to try this paper. The standard paper that they use is killer. It is really good. All right, last one for today. Um, and then when we get the Hobonichi stuff, we will do uh, Hobonichi stuff as well. So this is, uh, this is Theology. This is a standard layout for them. They have not changed their layout to my knowledge. And this is more of your very, very open layouts, which I think a lot of people appreciate, where you could just use this as just a standard notebook, or you can use their very faint and out of the way markings um, as, as a bit of a guideline for plannering. I'll show you. I use the Stayology notebook as their journal. Yeah, absolutely. So they design it to have, to, to kind of use it how you, how you wish, right? So it's a kind of a soft bound dot grid notebook. And if you look at it, well, this one is just a standard dot grid notebook. This one doesn't have the dates or the times. <laughs> I'm all kinds of confused today, guys. I'm all kinds of confused. This is a blank journal. But when they call it the 365 days, I'm assuming what normally Stayology does is dates across the top and times down the side. The regular Stayology is grid, so this is a new one. <sighs> I mean, this throws me off right here because that's what they call the other ones, right? The 365 days. Right. <laughs> but I think that's the, how they market the other one. Okay, cool. Standard journal notebook, 365 pages worth. <laughs> they got me, chat. Not going to lie, they had me in the first half, chat. So standard notebook. Hey, 365 days bullet journal if you use a page a day does theology work uh with fountain pennings it does who all makes the good bank paper just life that's all i've used and whatever daryl uses so that's my two primary papers is the masubi journal with bank paper and then the life notepad that's sitting right here it's not numbered it's not anything so yeah i confusing marketing even though it's right there. It doesn't say it's got the dates, but the standard ones are called 365. All right. So I think we should give this bad boy away today. F's in the chat. Because I want to, I want to post about these. We might eventually give these away. I want to post about these first. Um, and share some of the uh, details. This is essentially just a journal, which is cool. But I was expecting it the, it, the at a minimum the the uh, the planner like little tidbits to have the day, date, and time on there. This is just a pure blank notebook, which is really nice. So, yeah, dot grid five millimeters. I think this is what we should give away today. Until I can get some pictures and some details on the Kakuyo. Sound good, chat?
hey, it's just like a, a any other journal. I do like the soft cover. I do like that. I am pro uh, pliable covers, right? I like I like them to have some flexibility. It's got some structure and some flexibility, um, which is kind of like the sweet spot. I like the check the very edge of the page. Jet pens pictures show hour markings there. Interesting. Even on this model. There are no markings on this book. There are no markings on the edge of the page. Nimbles, thank you for the follow, appreciate you. So this one's just pure, raw, unadulterated notebook journal. So bullet journal, any journaling, any writing, anything notebook. It's really nice. These, theolo these theologies make really great stuff. So again, this is par for the course today. Like I didn't know what I was getting into when I started the day and I didn't know when I was getting to at the end of the day. There's a standard 365 that has grid and hours. Yeah, that's what I was thinking this was. These are my work notebooks. I love them. They're really great. So let's give this away. Shall we? All right, let me switch my screen here. All right. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. I just wish they wouldn't have called them 365. It, it confused me, and I'm, I'm easy to confuse. So, uh, Rook and Rasp, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. All right. Anyone can enter? Type exclamation point raffle. For this beautiful theology journal it's a journal not a planner it's not even a journal planner it's just a journal it's a notebook it's a very nice notebook way to go jackie thanks for paying attention oh we need more um, post-its or something to stick. Let's see. Do I have anything? These post-its. Sticky memo. <clears throat> Kunisawa sticky memo. New raffle winner. Sticky note. <clears throat> It's, yes, a journal, not a planner. Not a planner. Sticky notes. Cracking the gilding. Fancy sticky notes. These are cool. Oh, that means I can't use... Uh, Penguin butt washi tape. We'll have to figure out a way. We'll still use penguin. We'll, st we'll still washi tape it. Come on. Who am I kidding? Do you know, I wish they made post-its for fountain pens. The Midori ones are okay. <clears throat> There's some that are okay. These might be okay. All right, entries have stopped. What brand are those? Kunisawa. I'll see if I have any more to give away. I might have other some other packs of these. The last time they sent stuff out, it was like a box like we just went through of all Kunisawa um, 
paper goods, including these sticky notes. All right, let's see who wins this lovely and beautiful Stalogy notebook. We'll write it with the matching terrible Pikachu inner gel. All right, uh, pick a winner. Is the backslash a hack? Is the backslash a hack? Cal Riddle. We're going to make Cal Riddle give up one of these. We're going to let Cal choose. Michael, 22 months of seven. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Cal, are you a hacker? Does the backslash hack the grid? Where are you, Cal? I think you ran now, because we're about to call you out, hacker. Yeah, exclamation point sus. I am all about multiple winners. Just maybe not in the same chat. So we're gonna make Cal pick if they show back up. Pay them both for I'm a 63-year-old. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I cleared my raffle entries. Yeah, it's a brand new. Because if you look at it, you know it's cleared when the title changes. So if you, if you, that means I'm not a hacker. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah, so if you know the, um, the thing is reset... Um, when the when the title changes, because I, I always type in what I'm giving away. That means I'm not a hacker. Come on, Cal, do you not want one of these? Like, pick one, and then I'm gonna re-give away. That we'll do another giveaway for whichever one you want. Don't whichever one you don't want. I don't. I want you to get something, whichever one you think you'll use. Yeah, not a hacker. Sixty three year old means you can hack in cobalt. You'll take the notebook. Gotcha. All right, so Cal's getting the notebook. We're gonna re. We're going to re-raffle the flares. Hey, we, we're totally down with multiple winners, but let's spread the love a little bit today. So Cal is going to get the notebook. All right. And then we're going to redraft for the flares. That's hilarious. <laughs> we have lots of multiple winners in here. That was a first. And I think that's I think that's a fair rule. I think that's a fair rule, chat. <clears throat> One win per day. <laughs> Cause we do, do multiple giveaways. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna reset this. And we're gonna do retro flares. And like it zeroes out everything when I do that. So we're gonna do it again. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Cal, enter again. I'm dead serious, Cal. Enter this raffle. I wanna, let's see something here. Enter this raffle, Cal. I'm gonna make you. And yeah, there you go. I don't know where it's pulling the uh, the slash S from, though. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that slash S. I don't even know what you were doing. Because now I'm interested. Yeah, sarcastic entry. Exactly. But it's... So far, it's two for two <laughs> in victories. <laughs> it was a, a backslash, Evan. All 
all right we're either real good here and we're just gonna pick another winner like normal or we've really opened up a can of worms <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna see if there's any duplicate entries in here. I don't. Oh, so Cal did. So Cal's comes up as the slash s. Cal's is the only one I see in here with a slash s in it. Evan, does Evan have anything? D small c. D small c has nothing. Evan, you have nothing. Cal has a slash X, S next to his name. Everyone else who did that has nothing. I, but I see Cal Riddle slash S in the in the entries log. No one else has anything. Or multiple entrants or anything like that. All right, it ended. You didn't type it, yeah. So now, y'all ready? We're going to pick a winner. All right. Multi-time winner, head full of ideas. Is it the underscore of the name? No, because Cal Riddles had the underscore forever and has won other giveaways before. Just like head full of ideas has the underscores. Maybe it's the underscore. Maybe y'all all need underscores in your name. Hey, Brad, just got in touch with Brian. There's big good news on the Yovo front, all listed on the Meisternib site. Nice. We'll update it on the podcast tomorrow. I'm going to make a note right now. Before, is head full of ideas there? Yeah, there you are. Email me. Let me write this down. All right, so that's that, and I'm going to write down my note for the Yovo update for the podcast tomorrow. Anything y'all need me to hit on the uh, podcast tomorrow? Congratulations, head full of ideas. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, podcast... All right, Brad, any update on the new spoke icon colorways are coming? Can't wait for brass and green. This month, this month, weeks, week or two, couple weeks, couple weeks. Oh, perfect timing. Y'all get to watch me go on a phone call. I'm going to mute y'all because we're not done yet. Hang tight. Sorry, cars in the shop. They had to update me with how much they're going to charge me, as they do. All right, um, do you want me to send a second email? No, you're good. <laughs> oh. So yes, Casey Fancher, hopefully in the, in the weeks, in the weeks. All right, let's figure out uh, Toasty, Toasty Treat is still going. Ink Dependence mic is still going. It's starting. Uh, what are we doing today? Will we enter? Is Toasty Treat like on a timer? <sighs> yeah, we're not going to raid. I love you, Toasty. We're going to let Toasty write today. 
Toasty's writing. Toasty's, Toasty's in a, a writing timeout. I'd hate to... I need... What I need to do is talk to Ariel and see if it's okay to raid her while she's in a timer. So, like, I'm particular about that. Like, I don't want to distract people when they're doing, like, specific things. So, I will message her and see, hey, are you cool with me raiding you? Because I would love to raid her right now. Oh, by the bunny's going to... By the bunnies is asking. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> See, we're going to distract her already. Thank you by that bunny. <clears throat> All right, good. All right. I That's the thing was like productivity streams. Like, I think they like the people to be in there to do work themselves or to push them on with that. So we're going to go rock over to Toasty's um, stream. Y'all tell her, tell her, hey, y'all figure out something productive to do yourself while you're over there. <laughs> Cal at you. Thank you for the follow. Can you email me? Absolutely. Buy that bunny. Hello at, at panatic.com. Um, definitely shoot me an email. All right. We're going to say hey to Toasty. Let me get this pulled up. We will see y'all later. We'll have um, we'll have more um, planners soon. I hope, and uh, we're gonna talk about planners tomorrow on this on the podcast. So, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate y'all. Fun stream today. Talk to y'all later.